I tend to think of things in terms of justice, freedom, and ethics. I announced the idea in November 83, and it, but it was in January 84 that I quit my job at MIT to start developing a free operating system to which I gave the name GNU. Free software, I should explain, refers to freedom, not price. It's unfortunate that the word free in English is ambiguous. It has a number of different meanings. One of them means zero price, but another meaning is that you have freedom. So think of free speech, not free beer. There is a similarity between the folk process where a poem or a song or a story can get refined and reshaped by one teller or singer after another and the way free software gets improved. You'll often find cases where a free program is being developed now by a group of people who include none of the original developers. In 1991, we had almost finished the GNU system. Our goal was to make an operating system like Unix, but entirely free software. This complete operating system required many different components. By 1991, we had almost all of those components. Many of them we had written, and many others we had found somebody else had written it for his own purposes, but it did the job and so we pressed it into service as a part of GNU. One major component was still missing, the component called the kernel. So it was very useful that Linus Torvalds wrote a kernel. At that point, combining his kernel, Linux, with the larger GNU system produced a complete runnable system that you could actually put onto your PC and run. So once Linux was developed, the GNU system of, in effect was completed and it began to catch on in popularity. But at the same time, an unfortunate thing happened. The people who were using the GNU system didn't realize it was the GNU system. So they began calling the whole combination Linux. And that confusion spread and as a result, it's very hard for us in the GNU project to call the user's attention to the ethical and political issues. Orders can get piles of money, that is true. Hackers, that is true. But they cannot help their neighbors, that's not there is now a second movement, the open source movement, where they consider only the practical benefits and they refuse, and I mean that literally, they carefully avoid the issues of principle, freedom, ethics, and making a good society for people to live in. I am not against business. I don't believe in abolishing business. I do business myself, but I believe business should not dominate all of life. The rules of society should not be chosen primarily to please business.